Ah, more claustrophobic goodness. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Q Ranger DX Kutama Cockpit Series 02. So here we are, and there they are. Rang first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the Kutamas with their respective Voyagers. On the top here, we have Ryuteo. On this side of the box, we have the Kutamas. On this side of the box, we have Ryuteo. On the bottom, we have Silver, Orange, Ryu, Commander, Pink, and Gold. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, and the other, and you have Sir Pac-Man! That's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have the next set of Qtama cockpit toys. And yeah, I bought more of these. I, I like them. <laughs> I like them. So yeah, um, just like set uh, zero 01, except these are now for orange. Uh, Sasori Orange, Tenbin Gold, Habitsukai Silver, Washi Pink, and Ryu Commander. So we get the other five Rangers here. Hopefully we'll get a set for uh, Koguma, Sky Blue, and whatever other Rangers they come out with. There might be in like another five Rangers in the works. Who knows how many Rangers are going to end up in the series, but so far it's a lot. But <laughs> Each Kutama does come with a tiny little Q Ranger. So here is Sasori Orange. And again, these figures are tiny. They are tiny little, tiny little, but actually have a good amount of detail to them. I mean, if you're getting close here, I don't know how close we can get, but you can actually see a little scorpion design there on his helmet. And he does have a little Seiza Blaster molded onto his forearm. I mean, there's actually a good amount of detail on these little figures. No paint on them, but still. Nice amount of detail. He doesn't have his tail, though. He is missing his tail. But I don't know. <laughs> Articulation-wise, the legs just move forward and back on a hinge here, and that's all the articulation you get out of them. But there is Sasori Orange. And for his Kyutama, you can see down in that transparent orange plastic sticker here, there's no number on it, just that little star design there. Uh, Molding-wise, you know, standard for your Kyutamas, except when you turn it around, you can see where the molding differences are. For the gimmick, you got the big hinge there, and this section here opens up, and you can see the cockpit in there, and Sasori's symbol right up top. And yeah, and just for comparison, here it is with the Sasori Kyutama. And uh, the, the plastic, the, the gray plastic is like a shade darker on the cockpit series version than on the regular version, as you can see. But for the most part, pretty much the same thing after you turn around, then obviously there are the molding differences for the gimmick, and obviously the differences in the Kutama itself for the gimmick. So, yeah. And of course it does have the pins underneath, which means it can make some noises in the Seiza Blaster, so without further ado, let's bring in the Seiza Blaster and listen to some noises! Here we go! Kutama! And we'll change. Stop change! And that's it. <laughs> so now we'll attack. attack. And you get that noise. <laughs> Your big attack. And now we'll summon our Voyager! Voyager. You're just summoning generic Q Voyager! So now we'll control our Q Voyager! Let me get that! And now we'll dock! And we can keep docking. Every day of docking. 
And that's it. So there you have it. And all of the Qtamas have the same pin combination, so they're all going to make the same noises in the Seiza Blaster. So there you have Sasori Orange's Qtama. So now let's actually make use of the gimmick here. So you just want to open up the cockpit. And the cockpit section itself uh, does rotate. It does lock every quarter turn. So it'll lock there. It'll lock there. It'll lock there. And it'll lock there. So we just take Sasori. And you can sit him down any number of ways. You can sit him down like that. Depending on how you need him sitting when he's piloting his Voyager, you can sit like that, you can sit like that, and for the sake of his Voyager, he does need to be seated like that. And then we just turn into quarter turn, close it back up, and we'll bring in the Sasori Voyager. Just clip that on, Boop. and there you have Sasori Orange in there piloting his Voyager. That's pretty cool. Again, it just, it, it, it kind of brings everything to life a little bit more, and, that, and I, I do quite like that, so. There you are, hang of that. And now we'll move on to Tenbin Gold. Um, you can see he's not really gold. He's kind of more of a mustard color, but hey, they tried. <laughs> you can see, again, the detail is there. You actually see the, little, the scale there on his helmets. So again, these are actually quite nicely detailed for how tiny they are. But there is Tenbin Gold. And here is his Qtama done. Here's that gold transparent plastic, and when you open up the cockpit here, you can see Tenbin's symbol right there, right up top. So without further ado, we'll just get Tenbin gold seated in his seat. Close that up, and we'll bring in the Tenbin Voyager. And we'll just snap this down. Boop, and there you go. There you have Tenbin Gold piloting his Voyager. I like that. That, that. that really does make for a cool effect. I, I do really like that. So there you have that. And now here we have Habit Sky Silver. In this case, he's 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 just gray. Focus, focus camera. There we go. <laughs> he is just casting a gray plastic, but it is Habit Sky Silver. And again, Nice detail on it. Again, I don't know how well you can see, but he does have the snake design on his helmet. It might be very hard to see, but it is there. But yeah, again, very cool with the details. And his Qtama, which is done kind of a silverish transclearant plastic. It's kind of more just like gray plastic. And when you open up the cockpit, you have his symbol right there up top. So let's get him seated. And his cockpit here. Close that up. Bring in the Habit Sky Voyager. Just plug that on. Boop. And there you go. They have Habit Sky Silver piloting his Voyager. Yay! There you have that. And now we move on to Washi Pink, who is very pink. Again, nicely detailed. She does have her wings also. The wings are molded there, <laughs> which is adorable. Yeah, and again, you can't actually see the design there on the helmet. It's it's not easy to see, but it is there. So there you have that. And you have the Kutama down in the transclearing pink. And when you open up the cockpit, there you got Washi's symbol right there up top. And now we will get her seated so she sits this way. Just give it that quarter turn, close it up, bring in the Washi Voyager, plug that on, Boop. and there she is piloting her Voyager. Hooray! There you go. <laughs> Considering her only view really is, is, is the butts, and that's pretty much the way it is with most of these Voyagers, <laughs> like, the view is just the Voyager's butts, but hey, it's a little awkward, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have that. And last but certainly not least, we have Ryu Kamanda. They done in purple, and he has some nice detail. You, uh, on him, you can you can definitely see the detail uh, a bit more clearly. You can see the dragon design right there in the helmet. He's got his long his long coat going on there, and very nicely done. Again, he's got 
all that detail that, that's supposed to be there is pretty much there. For being so tiny, that's that's quite amazing. And here is Kutama done in the purple transparent plastic, and you open up the cockpits, and you have the dragon symbol right there up top. So now let's get him seated. So how does he sit in here? Now he's gonna sit. Oh, his <laughs> his legs come off pretty easy. It's just a clip here. <laughs> sorry, Commander. I'm so sorry. Get him seated. There you go. So yeah, he sits in his seat like that. And then you want to turn the cockpit 180, like that. And that's how you want him situated. Oh, that's not straight. Come on, straighten out. There you go. So that's how he sits. And now we will bring in the Ryu Voyager here. And I will just clip in underneath. And you can't really see too well, but he's in there piloting the Ryu Voyager. There you go. That's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's bring in Ryu Teo so we can see how this looks when we got them all combined. Again, that looks pretty cool. That It looks so much cooler than that flat image that you can't even see unless it's backlit. You know, it definitely, like I said, it, it, it brings things more to life. And uh, that's very cool. I dig that. I do quite like it. We'll bring in... I beat Sky Silver and Tenbin Gold here. Just so we can see them all. And there you go. Very cool. I, I am liking these, I will say. If, if they make another set of these, which I'm guessing they will because we still got more Rangers, um, I'll, I'll probably pick these up because I'm quite enjoying them. And I, and I love the effect, like I said. I think that really just, like I said, it just brings things to life and I dig that. So yeah, they're cool. Me likes. So, <laughs> as usual, I pick these up from Hobby Link Japan. But of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some Super Sentai items. There'll be a link to their site in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Q Ranger playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and i think that's it so don't forget to check out m games check out lori plan follow me on twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the q ranger dx q tama cockpit series zero two and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing big geek be proud palm in your face